All right, guys. The butterfly I talked about last time when I filled the white cabbage butterfly. It's also got a name called the cloudless sulfur butterfly. I saw the yellow one earlier, but I did not catch it for you guys, so it didn't land. But I do have a picture of it to show you what it looks like. It's about this big, about the size of a monarch. I also wrote the name of it right there on a piece of paper. Put it down, so... It's in cursive, so I don't know if you can read in fancy fonts, but that's the name of a great North American yellow cloudless sulfur cabbage butterfly. And that's the species name. These are not, like I said, just not common. It's a, this is the only one I saw this year. Searching butter, for butterflies out back, and I saw that one only once. It didn't land, it flew off somewhere else. I don't know where. Well, I saw it when I first saw it was a corner of my eye and I look, that appeared, but it flew off in the distance like a bantam, so I wish it would land so I can catch it so I can film it to you guys, but it didn't work out, and that's the only one I saw, so this is as close as I can get. I don't know if scientists have discovered this one, but I believe that might be the first one they experienced seeing these butterflies. It's crazy. Now, the meat looks like the ones from the dinosaur age because insects used to be massive during that time. But now they're not that more. They're not as big as they were now, back in that time. So now they're about the size we're used to seeing them now. But this is. I hope you guys might find this very interesting. So. I mean, this is not a drawing video, this is a video to where I wanted to show you guys what I saw earlier, did, but did not, was not able to catch. You never see these the this big before. It's crazy, it's about the same size as a monarch, about 5 inches in wingspan, and that's about 12 and a half centimeters. And... Hope you guys enjoyed, so I'll see you next time.